Hi, my name is Nate and I'm with Paradise RV Rentals. In this video, we will be going over how to get power to your RV, what to use and when. The best and most effective way to get power to your RV is via shore power. This type of power source is found at most campsites, like the one we have here. The two most common hookups are 30 amp 120 volt or 50 amp 240 volt. Here's an example of each. 30 amp is typical for class C's and 50 amp is typical for the bigger class A's with two AC units. It is important for you to know which amperage your RV needs. This will ensure that appliances, utilities, outlets, and other electronics will have adequate power to run correctly. The rental RVs have light duty electrical systems, so items like curling iron and hair dryers are strictly off limits. This will trip breakers and potentially cause other problems. Items like cell phone chargers and gaming consoles are okay. When plugging into any power source, whether it be shore power or using the generator, you'll need to make sure that all major appliances are off, most importantly, the AC. Additionally, if you are plugging into power at a campground, you will want to make sure that the breaker at the power pole is turned to the off position. This will help prevent uh, potential arcing. Also, if you're running or plan on running the generator, make sure that the generator is off before you plug in. After you've plugged into the power source or running the generator, it is now safe to turn on the breakers, appliances, electronics, and any other utilities. For the generator, this is a great alternative to shore power if you find yourself without adequate power source. Although the generator can provide all the power you need, it is not a perfect replacement for shore power. Generators run most optimally between four to eight hours in cooler weather and require a little bit higher octane. After 48 hours of runtime, it is good to give the generator a break for about an hour or two. You may also want to check the oil level at this point. For the gas RVs on our fleet, the generator will run off the same tank as the truck and it burn about a half a gallon an hour. It's very efficient. The RVs on the diesel Mercedes chassis run off of propane or LPG and they burn about the same, a half a gallon an hour. Contact an associate at Paradise RV if you need help finding out which fuel type your generator requires. So this is how to start the generator. First, make sure that the AC has been turned to the off position. Make sure that the house battery is turned to the on position. Also, make sure that your house battery is fully charged. If the battery is not fully charged, then you can start the truck. The alternator from the truck will help charge the house battery. It should only take a couple of minutes. If the battery is really dead, it could take a couple minutes or longer. To start, you actually want to hold stop first or the prime button until the numbers illuminate or about 10 seconds. Lastly, hold the start button until the generator fully engages. If the generator for some reason is not turning on, double check the battery level. And if the battery is good, then double check to make sure there's appropriate amount of fuel. It'll need to be over a quarter of a tank in the truck. If the problem persists, please contact an associate at Paradise RV.